There's nothing that matters as much as self-sufficiency. People know this instinctively. Like when the pandemic hit, what did everybody start doing? Baking their own sourdough. It's like they knew. There you go. I just want my teams to know it too. You know, some of the greatest people to have lived have had the same kind of independent spirit. When Sir Edmund Hillary climbed Mount Everest, he did it alone. When Amelia Earhart flew across the Atlantic, where do you think she got her plane? Pretty sure she built that herself. When I was a kid, some of the other boys would play sports with their dads, like curling or badminton or lawn darts. We didn't really do a lot of that, but we did write code. Back in those days, you didn't have your cloud and your Google and your fancy Visual Studio code plugins or whatever. You just had the white book and a photocopied compiler man. You did it yourself. You baked your own bread. That's how dad did it. That's how I do it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. My teams are just chasing the bright and shiny, you know? Uh, no. We decided it was the best option moving no. forward. We all agreed that it was our best. We want to use the cloud. We want managed services. I mean, we need to process and ship the orders of our customers, not build and run our own distributed database. When I'm helping them whiteboard, when I'm writing the slide decks that are gonna document the enterprise architectures that they are going to comply with, you think I draw diagrams with the cloud in them? It's the worst idea ever, and my decision is final. But you know, I'm not one of those ivory tower guys who's just inflexible. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I'm not afraid to help take care of the infrastructure myself. Like, if you're not freezing in that data center, have you really earned it? Maybe you're just relying on other people too much. Maybe you've forgotten how to crimp your own network cables. What it feels like to get paged in the middle of the night because Zookeeper's log files have filled up the file system again. It really is true what they say. The cloud is just somebody else's computer. And I don't want to rely on somebody else. I want it to be a computer I control. And yeah, okay, it's not like it was in the old days. We don't write our own OS anymore. And I let some of our teams use Java or whatever. But you think I'm gonna let somebody else manage our infrastructure? Host our databases? Run Kafka for me? What if I need to see the core dump file or patch the kernel? I'm not gonna let somebody else do that. Did Grace Hopper run COBOL in the cloud? You think Brian Fox wrote Bash with some cloud service? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, did Alan Turing use the cloud? No, neither do I. I'm Bear Metalson and I can do it on my own.